Yeah, I think we're good. Uh, let me just check with this here.
to speak into this mic so that the people on stream uh, can I hear me. Thank you, everybody, for being here today. That was a little arrangement of Armando's Roomba by Trick Korea. Uh, it's a really fun tune to play. Obviously, I switched around from playing it on marimba uh, and drum set, and Gotham over here, I'll introduce him later, but he helped out with the cajones and um, with the cajon and the kungas. So that was kind of like a fun kind of Latin jazz kind of piece. We're, gonna, we're now going to go into something completely different. Um, so this next piece that I'm going to play, uh, it's a marimba solo. But it's probably not like any other music you've heard before. Because a lot of times in music, you have, you're, you're in a key, right? You have a scale. And maybe these are the notes you're using. And you're able to create great melodies using that. Right? People have done it for centuries. But there's this new way of thinking where maybe let's use all the notes and find new patterns and new ways to use all of that. So you'll see in this next piece that I do, there's not really a key center or a tonality that this, this, this piece is based around. And it kind of uses patterns and different rhythmical um, changes and variations to create interest and dynamics and different things like intensity and things like that. So you'll hear how if I play a melody, it might be varied. I, I might change it up a little bit. Uh, and there's a lot of fun things that happens with the time and the different rhythms. Hence the name of this next piece, uh, which is Time from Marimba by Minoru Miki.
Thank you. And now, I'm going to go to something on the complete opposite end of the tonal spectrum. I'm going to play some Bach. I have uh, three uh, pieces that I'm going to play from different uh, violin sonatas and partitas. One thing marimba players like to do, because there's not that much music written specifically for marimba. So we take music written for other instruments and uh, play it on the marimba. And I'm a strong believer that if marimbas had existed when Bach was alive, he would have written many pieces for it. And he would have been able to do so many cool things, like with the low end down here, uh, which you'll hear me do in the second thing I play. Um, but the first, I'm going to play three Bach pieces for you guys. Um, and you'll hear it's very different tonally from what I just played. You can hear those very clear patterns. You can tell if you hear this note, it's going right there. So all these, it, it all, like, it's functional harmony is what we call it, because it all makes sense. And it's the exact opposite of what you just heard. Uh, so, some bar.
Going, we're now going to transition to something completely different. And we are going to use all this stuff over here. I have uh, gathered these instruments from a var variety of different uh, sources, including my house and my school and the youth orchestra that we go to. Uh, because there are a lot of drums. Oh, and he, his drums, yeah, we, we've got drums from all over the place. Um, so this is a duet that we've been uh, working with. Yeah. Um, we go to the New, New Jersey Youth Symphony, and there's a percussion ensemble there that we're a part of. 
uh, and we have been working on this duet together. Uh, and we're going to perform it for you guys today. It's called Dance of the Drums by uh, Gene K uh, Kaczynski, who has uh, also composed a, vi a variety of other percussion ensemble pieces. Uh, but this one specifically is the second uh, movement of a duet that he wrote. Uh, and I hope you enjoy uh, Dance of the Drums.
invite our president, maybe, Stuart and Carol, to do the lighting. picture of this moment. everyone. It's almost last night. And thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you for being our guest here. And thank you all for being here. And enjoy the rest of the thank you. Enjoy the rest of the concert. Thank you, Mitzi, for all of your service. And thank you to our Renaissance brethren. Thank you. Yes.
That was a piece called Yellow After the Rain. And the next song I'm going to play is called Mexican Dances from Marimba. I'm playing the first movement. And one thing I want you to listen for as I go through this piece is you're going to hear this, this repeating figure in the bass. And you're going to hear that throughout the whole beginning section. And then it's going to go away. And there's going to be a, a new melody that comes in, a new theme. Uh, with a very contrasting style we hear it. it sounds like it could come from a completely different piece. But then, at the end, that theme, it comes back in a, different, um, in a different rhythm, in a different kind of way. So listen to how that theme is kind of translated throughout the piece, uh, and how it comes back, and how it goes away in the middle. Uh, the middle would be considered like the development section. So we start with the theme, which I just played for you in the left hand, uh, and then in the middle section there's a development. The music develops, it's and changes, it moves forward. And in the end, we have a recap where that theme come back, comes back, but it's a little bit altered because we've developed a little bit further, so then the theme's a little bit different. Uh, so listen uh, for that as I play through this next piece, uh, Mexican Dances from Marimba. We're going to play um, some music for you. We're going to be using these kungas that he just recently acquired. Um, Gotham is very good at hand drumming. He does a lot of hand drumming stuff. He plays tabla, he plays uh, kungas, he plays cajon. And he's going to teach us a little bit about some Latin American rhythms. And then we're going to jam on it. Hello, for those of you who don't know me, uh, my name is Gotham. I'm in the same grade, same school as Josh. Uh, I've been doing hand drums for a while, as Josh has been saying. 
uh, since about second grade, so it's been a, <laughs> been a long time. Uh, what I have here in front of me are what are called kungas. They're Cuban American uh, percussion instruments, or Cuban, uh, Afro-Cuban percussion instruments. Uh, they're essentially, their origin was in barrels, so slaves that had come over from Africa and were playing instruments like what Josh has over there, the djembe, uh, wanted to mimic their uh, cultural heritage from Africa. And so what they did is they took barrels and wrapped animal skins over it to create that similar sound. So I'll, I guess I'll teach you a couple of short rhythms. Uh, one of the most famous is what's called the tumbao rhythm. Uh, it comes from salsa, yeah. Uh, and it's basically comprised of three main sounds. We have a, a bass sound right in the center, an open tone sound over here, and a sort of slap, which can be done by either hand. Um, so I'll play a couple bars of that, and then I guess we'll just jam and make it up as we go. So.
Thank you again to everyone for coming today and learning about this whole section of instruments with me. Uh, we're going to close out with one more song. Uh, it's a duet in honor of Hanukkah. So I hope everyone has a great last night. Uh, and I hope to be back next year. Thank you, everybody.